Hi, I'm Tony Ventrella. You know, for the past 30 years as a sportscaster here in the Pacific Northwest, I've had the privilege of attending lots of functions put on by the Elks Lodges of Washington. Nice people, those Elks. But you know, there's something I bet you didn't know about the Elks. They've got a program called the Washington Elks Therapy Program for Children that's been going on for nearly 60 years, and they've helped thousands of families. This unique program provides physical and occupational therapy at no cost to the families for children with developmental delays or physical disabilities. Priority is given to infants and young children who would otherwise go without services due to lack of resources, transportation, or health status. Each therapist carries a caseload of 23 to 25 children. Services are provided in the home by therapists like Sarah Junkin Clark. Sarah started with the Elks program in 1992, and since day one, it was a perfect fit. And I got lucky. They were hiring in my territory, and um, as soon as I found out what the job was, uh, working in people's homes and um, working with families, I knew, I knew this was the right fit. The Elks Therapy Program for Children funds Sarah's work with children from birth to 21 years old, kids who really need this service. Kids like Charlie Lavasseur. When Charlie was five months old, he started experiencing seizure activity, and um, with that, they started noticing his motor skills were not developing. And at that time, the doctor had said, I understand in your area that they have a great home therapy program with the Elks, so got us set up right away on a weekly therapy program. Working with Charlie and those who love him for nearly seven years now, Sarah has become part of the family through her weekly in-home visits. I feel like she's kind of maybe his second mom when she comes in and he gets very excited um, to see her. And again, yes, she's doing therapy with him, but she does it in a way that he just feels like, I get to have fun with Sarah for an hour. Great, go. Oh, nice try. I think they found that going into a clinic um, albeit wonderful, it was difficult for everybody to participate and everybody wanted to be part of Charlie's therapy every day. Now Charlie is at a point and I know Sarah has been instrumental in um, helping him. He's able to drink from a straw, that was like a big issue, um, to a point where he is walking with assistance with a walker. He definitely has taken on that interest in the video games. We will try to um, adapt, like for instance, if his brothers are kicking the ball, playing soccer, he wants to do it, so we will help hold him. And you know, there again, any kind of little movement he makes, we're so thankful for. It's been a really fun ride with that family, watching him grow up and now entering first grade and um, become such an independent soul. Okay, reach it out there. Charlie is just starting grade school. At the other end of Sarah's client spectrum, Nicole is about to enter college. I am so excited to get my independence, go have the college experience. <laughs> Sarah has also been there for Nicole and her family from the beginning. I got a phone call prior to Nicole even being born from the hospital um, saying that they were anticipating the birth of a baby who would need lots of therapy. So I think she was a, less than a month old when I first met her and it's been really fun. Looking back at the old photographs, at how far and how much we've done over the years, it's an evolution, it's always changing. But when I started to get into middle school and high school, she really started to help me out with transitioning and all the adaptations, it was really an eye-opener, I guess. She has just been like a family member to me, helping me with everything and adapting my life to so I can be a normal teenager. And over the years, it's grown now to where um, First of all, we're friends now more than anything else. And it just it's not so much about changing Nicole's body as it is adapting the world around her and allowing her to be um, as independent with the world and um, do things like everybody else as much as possible. The value of this program is also well supported within the medical community. Dr. John McLaughlin explains. There's a lot to be said for dealing with a child in their, in their actual environment. I think the, the real value of the Elks program is the in-home services. So many families with kids with, with disabilities have so many things going on in their lives after travel distances and so forth is really hard. 
and the fact that the elks uh, have real consistency over time, so it's the same person. The ability of the therapist to develop a trust and working relationship with the family is really uh, of the essence. Perhaps Sarah's youngest patient, little Lydia Anzures, underscores the need for in-home therapy the most. Lydia, when I first met her, was extremely medically fragile, extremely susceptible to illness, um, and really even traveling out of the home to go to a doctor's appointment um, could put her life in danger. So in-home therapy, it was sort of in-home therapy or nothing. And there have been weeks on end that she hasn't been healthy enough to go to school. So again, the Elks programs, we've been back there again, filling in the gap. Over the time I've been in practice, the uh, research that's developed on the value of these services uh, comes down strongly on the side of the value and, and the effectiveness of the service in helping kids become more independent and to know that you can count on the Elks to get out to the home and help is, is really outstanding. Any way you look at it, the Elks Therapy Program for Children is a win-win proposition. I guess the overwhelming feeling I hear from families is gratitude. They cannot believe that there's a group of people out there willing to give their time and money to provide this service to their kids at no cost to these families. Well, now you've seen the Washington Elks Therapy Program for Children in action. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And I bet you'd like to help. Here's how. If you've got the time, energy, or the resources, or all three, contact the Elks today.